Guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do the last issue of A Righteous First for Vengeance, this time number 11 from Image Comics made by Rick Remender, Andre Lima, Arugio. I hope I said it right. Uh, Crystal Halloran, Halloran and Russ Bouton. So this is the last issue. In issue 10, um, somebody very important died. Uh, Sonny died and yeah, we're going to see what the conclusion is. So, 10 years later, and we are at the uh, outside of a courthouse. So this guy is called Andrews. He is, uh, you know, being, you know, um, accused of sex trafficking, etc. Um, basically, if you all look at this guy, he could be have a, um, you know, he's probably a, a regular member at the Epstein's Island, if you know what I mean. Um, so, of course, he's going to deny that. So then this woman here, he says, what do you have to say to the young woman whose lives you ruined or the dozens of other who went missing after threatening to step forward? Loses out of for payday. My charitable donations equaled the cross domestic output of Puerto Rico. What the fuck have you done, lady? Another liberal loudmouth with nothing to contribute. You're going to jail, Mr. Andrews. Any thoughts of that? So, of course, he's going to say that's all false narrative and, uh, you know, and that's not true. But then I'm not sure what it is. Is he I'm not sure if he's being held or that he is under watch or this is some kind of a prison for rich people or something. I'm not entirely sure, but he could do whatever he wants, mostly. And he has a ward and, and, and you know, and he's still making phone calls and the ward, you know, um, Leads them around what this facility has to offer. You know, tennis, uh, Olympic-sized pool. This guy's sweating as a pig, by the way. Also a chef that, you know, can conjure up the most beautiful and delicious food ever. Um, sports. But he um, gets to his accommodation and this ward says, um, we know you have special sleep needs. So everything according to the list your assistant provided. Egyptian cotton sheets with a fret count of 600 fleece, uh, 600 fleece pillows with silk cases. This is a memory phone, he says. So I thought, okay, he's going to, I don't know, buy maybe something, some real estate or whatever. But then, no, he's being watched all the time. So, again, I'm not sure. Is this some kind of facility that, you know, watches these people? And what 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 is it exactly? I'm not entirely sure. Uh so he get the best food, he gets tucked in, he's got a shower, he's got a massage. And also, you know, doing whatever he wants while this born is here shaking like a leaf in the corner. Um, well, he's getting treated with, you know, sex, etc. He's doing whatever he wants, but he's still, I don't know, uh, locked. And then he's also doing this. So there's a camera here. And uh, so these guys says, Andrew's camera down again. Faulty wires, nothing to be done. He's sniffing, snorting coke, eating in the cafe. Well, nobody's here. Is he the only one? And, uh, you know, getting BJs, etc. And also getting massages with from naked women. So there's a lot of, you know, um, what's the word? Uh, he still has a lot of power, it seems. He's got special treatment while other people are rotting in jail. Maybe rightfully so. I mean, that's why jail exists, right? So this woman here is believe his assistant. And she says, um, um, well, she talks about, you know, what's happening in the world and people that are against him. And they, I don't know, being eliminated, I guess. So he says, witnesses all had a change of heart. All, uh, all I have to do is get you out of here by the end of the week. Uh, the stray bits of DNA floating around cleaned <laughs> so there's some yeah um, grape allegations I, I deliberately said that because I don't want to have the YouTube algorithm you know do something to my channel probably picked it up anyway doesn't matter um, so he says file a defamation suit against the DOG now I advise we wait until you are back home when someone hits you Hit them back twice as hard. Do it. 
and that con reporter from the post who slanted me with that affrontment. Get me some stories about her. She's very respected. What if you can find anything? Make something up, shithead. Someone unsavory she fucked. Some transgender she offended. Doesn't take much to get the liberals to kill their own. And no end of the week. I want out of the shithole by tomorrow. So yeah, there's some left and le right-leaning politics here. Uh, you know, it has been well-crafted. And uh, we'll see. You know, people with money and certain status can, you know, get away almost with anything. And I mean, it's in real life too. But um, Rick Remender is not afraid highlighting all those flaws that has been in American society. Not only in America, probably in the rest of the world too. So... At one point, he's just, I don't know, walking, watching Rocky because he's t talking about Sly. And uh, visual storytelling is still there. There's, I believe, way more dialogue now than in the other books. And um, so then this guy comes. And he says, um, I don't need anything. Guy ignores him, goes in anyway. Are you fucking deaf? So he locks the door and uh, does this. And there's camera down again. Bad wiring. Gotta get around to fixing that. <laughs> right. Um, so he says, I said, out. Whatever fucking game you're playing, I'm not in a mood. And then, then he does this. Um, uh, look, I, I don't know what this is, but help. I need help in here. You fuck with me, you're dead. Every fucking relative, dead. He screams. <laughs> So this guy, he says, they're already here. They already are. Guess who killed them? So he knows. So this is, um, God, I forget the, forget the name. Uh, I believe, yeah, Xavier. So this is Xavier, you know, the young boy that Sonny took under his wing. He's now all grown up and he wants vengeance. So he's pissing himself. And he says, please, anything. What do you want? And then, uh, I want my mom back. But that's not going to happen. So I settle for killing... So I settle for killing my father. And he's shitting himself. Jesus Christ. It's very visual and also graphic at some points. So these guys are... Um, Andrew's, camera, uh, Andrew's camera is going a bit long this time. Mm. Maybe we should check in. Be my guest. Wouldn't want to interrupt all of your hard work. Maybe he'll give me a... A bump for my efforts. Doesn't seem like the sharing type. <laughs> so, um, so Xavier comes in and he says, uh, Andrew has some guests. Um, my turn to ask him in. The fucking guy. What a life. I'd be so lucky. Yeah, lucky. I wouldn't bug him for a bit. Don't want to spoil his fun. And then he goes, Jesus Christ. This, uh, so, yeah. He was behind all of these, and I couldn't show it too much in the other video, in the uh, other uh, uh, well, videos that I made, because there was a lot of nudity in here. So, um, yeah, so uh, he wasn't shown much, although he was there in the, uh, the other comics. Uh, good ending for this, this piece of shit that, uh, you know, ruined many, many lives. Uh, so Xavier goes out, checking out, like nothing's wrong. So this the, the guy from the last issue, and he says, um, how did it go? Xavier says, well, like a dream. And he's going away and the visuals are still great. And then we have this, you know. He's looking outside and then remembers what he was doing with, with Sonny, you know. Sonny was basically, although not his biological father, he was his father. He acknowledged that too. And then he just drives into, well, wherever he's going. And that's the end. Man, what a comic. What an ending. It's, it's, it's so simple, but also satisfying. It's not graphic, bloody, just pure revenge for what's happening. And normally you would think that Xavier here is maybe has a lot of pent-up anger, but he doesn't. He's just, you know, calm. Although he's angry, but not he doesn't show anger. He's perfectly calm and he basically grabs this guy and hangs him to death. And that's it. And then, I don't know, drives it into the sunset, maybe. If you can call it that, then that's the ending. 
Vengeance has been served, as a certain, you know, spirit of vengeance would say. Uh, great stuff. What an ending. Um, yeah. Like I said, there's um, in, in, in um, earlier issues, I said there was uh, there were some issues overall, you know, with the pacing. Um, I think the, the story dragged a little bit too much because at sometimes I didn't even know what to say anymore because there's a lot of visual storytelling. I like that a lot. But at some point, I thought maybe one or two issues less of this series, maybe max eight, maybe nine issues could be is probably perfect for the series. They do it to 11. But hey, it is what it is. Overall, I had uh, fun with this. It's totally different. It's something I haven't seen before or not, you know, recent. Uh, so I like that. Overall, another good storytelling from Rick Remender. He does a lot of great things I like. Personally, that's another thing. But, you know, as a writer, I respect him. So guys, let me know what you think about this comic. You know, leave a comment, like, subscribe to my channel and all the jazz. See you next time. Bye-bye.